Okay, question nine. Ephedrine can be used to prevent low blood pressure. You have a structural formula of it. Um, and then you're told that ephedrine can exist as different optical isomers due to the presence of chiral centres, circle a chiral centre. So a chiral centre is a carbon which has four different substituent groups attached to it. Okay, so let's have a look to see if we have any of these in here. Obviously, it says A, so I'm kind of thinking there's more than one. So for a start, get rid of your benzenes. Get rid of all those carbons in there because all of them are attached to two of the same thing. They're all attached to a CH, 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 CH all around here. So, that, so that can't be right. Okay, let's have a look at the, the other ones. Okay, so we have a carbon in here. Uh, bearing in mind, you have to remember that's a hydrogen there and there's a hydrogen here. OK, and that's a carbon with three hydrogens. If we're going to stick these on here, not not the best way to look at these, but it'll help. OK, so in fact, sorry, let's stick another. There's another carbon with three hydrogens down here as well. OK, so uh, this carbon and this carbon definitely out the running because they have three hydrogens. Uh, this is not carbon, so that's out the running. Uh, this carbon is good and so is that one. OK, because both of them have um, four different substituent groups. OK, um, state what's meant by the term optical isomer. It's pretty much definition stuff here. OK, you're going to have to say for a start that they are mirror images. It's important. And you're going to have to say that they are non superimposable. OK, is that how you spell imposable? You can't stick them on top of one another, basically, and they cancel out. That's what we're looking for here. Um, OK, the psychoactive substance cathinone, I don't know, whichever way, cathinone, that sounds better, has a similar structure to ephedrine and can be synthesised under certain conditions in two steps. We have step one, step two. OK, suggest the type of chemical reaction taking place in step two of the synthesis. OK, so step two, have a look at what's changed. OK, so we have, here's a bromine, and now we have an amine group, and that was what we brought in. We've swapped one thing for another. Oh, can't spell. Actually, really, really can't spell. That's appalling. Substitution is what I was trying to write there. Substitution. OK, so substitution reaction. Um, in reality, since we, we've got an NH3 and that's got its lone pair thing, um, it's going to be nucleophilic, but substitution is going to get the mark. OK, um, calculate the mass of cathinone produced from 9.5 grams of 1-phenyl propanone, assuming a percentage yield of 71.8%. Now, frankly, I think for, eight, for three marks, that's, hi, that's really generous, but um depends how you work it. OK. Right, so here were my scribbles that I noted down. OK, so we've got our starting with our 1-phenyl propane, sorry, propanone, uh, going to your cathinone. OK, so from this, it's a 1 to 1. OK, you get from one of these, you follow through, you get one of these. OK, 1 to 1, that's important. OK, you're also told that this is the mass of one mole. They're not even expecting you to go and count it, which is nice. Um, gives you 149 grams of that. So basically, this is what happens if you get one mole to one mole, 100% conversion. So then all you need to do is just say, OK, if I start instead with, instead of 134, I've got 9.5, what do I get? Well, it's that divided by that times by that, just by proportion. That will give you 10.56. OK, now that's at 100%. I don't want 100%, I want 71.8%. So multiply it, obviously not by 71.8, but by 0.718. And that gives you 7.585, which they were accepting. I personally would have taken it to that, which is also what they had as their final answer. It's not quite a gift, but for three marks, that's quite nice.